Okay, here's a picture I just started. I'm just making up some sort of superhero. Why? These are kind of fun to do. There's these costume people. Maybe I just like costumes, I don't know. Just some character I'm just inventing. Um, but I, uh, one thing I really like about these comics, it's a lot that has to do with the three color process and the look of the old shading film, the dot, dot patterns. So the process printing colors are yellow, magenta, and cyan. So I'm just going to start doing some of that. Let me just, uh, let's see, I got some blue in there. Let's get some yellow in there. Let's see. I'm just going to scribble it on here. Maybe this is just a, a, a wink at the pop art. You know, Andy Warhol with the blocks of color. I don't know. Coloring outside the lines? I don't know. And let's see. The, uh, kind of the Zipatone shading film. They don't use that these, these days. I don't think they do. You know, these, uh, dots. Bende dots. Whatever they call them. Optical color mixing. You mix... Your eye will, should blend these colors together and form an orangish color. It looks like he's got measles or something. And a uh, little new wave pattern, stripes. Stripes looking good. Stripes. These are the marks I'd like to make. Uh, these are marks I usually associated with uh, these spirals, I don't know, like uh, hypnosis, you know, these 1950s ads or hypnosis. Okay, so I got yellow, um, magenta, let's get some more blue back in there. So, I like the way these pens kind of blend, they're kind of translucent so I can actually see some of this color peer through. So I like, I like, I like these colors together. This blue, this kind of magenta color, yellow, and um, what else can I do here? I think that's looking pretty good so far. And I've got a gray pen. Let me see if I can do something here. Maybe I'll get some shadow here. Eh. You know, I'm going to do this. i go red. Red. When pink is in shadow, it should turn red. You know, colors, when they get in the shade, become more, uh, they become darker. So, uh, a yellow would become more of an orange. You know, they go around the color wheel. They kind of go to the next color in line, so, uh, yellow would become orange as it went into the sh shade. Blue would become more purple. Let's see. I don't want to overdo it here. Eh. Here, I'll just follow the line of his nose. Lips. Okay. Okay, so I'm always trying to fit these things into a comic book type structure. Oops, so let me... Oops, excuse me. Okay. This is looking pretty cool. Okay, to uh, finish this off, let's just 
make a comic about it. So I've always got to put these things in a panel. So I'm drawing with a crayon now. This is a black wax crayon. Give it a little variety as far as texture goes. A lot of all the other marks are drawn with a, a marker pen. This is a wax crayon. Oops. A little gray in there. the whole background in so his face jumps out a bit. Looking good. I'll reinforce the line of his face and I'll just that'll be it. Oh I should probably make him say something too. Give him a word balloon. And it's been a while since I've drawn one of my zany word balloons so I'm gonna end this drawing with a really cool Looking word balloon. Okay, I'll just use this pen. Yep, it's pointing right at his eye. Whoops, the speaking eye. Here, I'll put him off. Get him off. And, uh, A doodle comic panel of some obscure superhero with some interesting eye that seems to be speaking.